Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. Last time we tried to recruit Terra and she just did not want to come with us. This time we're going to head on to the next town which is just north of us. We are over here on the Serpent Trench. And look it's Pac-Man. I just wanted to show you how I've been leveling up for the last 20 minutes or so. Um, I told you I was going to learn some spells off screen. I already did that. Celis now has learned all of the new spells from the Fenrir Magicite that we learned or uh, received last episode. And I did it by just fighting this black dragon thing over and over again. Because every time you kill him, you get three magic points. And as you can see, I can kill him in one good attack by Sabin. So yeah, that's all we're going to show of that. So let's head north to the white dot on the map, shall we? And actually, now that I think about it, this is not the white dot we are going to be stopping at. This is actually another tower that we cannot go to right at the moment. We'll be checking that out later. At any rate, the white dot we want to go to is actually all the way at the top of the Serpent Trench's head. I mean, I guess I could have just met you guys all the way up here, but what would have been the fun in that? On a positive note, as usual, I'm getting level ups and stuff, so who cares, right? Who cares? Level ups are always good. In fact, I'd probably walk through the desert and better off fighting. I should have just walked through the desert for that whole part. It would have been better off because then I would have fought more black dragons to get more MP or magic points. Anyways, here we are in Nikea. Awesome, right? This town is actually a lot more prominent than it was the first time around when we barely even ever went here except for to get ourselves back to where we were. Anyways, so this town looks pretty much the way we left it. Um, let's go ahead and stay here at the end for a second just because. Just for fun. No, not really for fun, but just because we need it fought enough battles on the way here I didn't use a lot of MP but you know I'm, I'm, I'm running low on tents so we're probably gonna be stocking up on some of those while we're here and I think this will be the first town that'll actually have new equipment as well besides the new uh, I mean what do you mean besides the new there's nothing new here oh, I have five tents we're good on tents let's check the armor shop and the weapon shop that's the ones we want to check here's the weapon guy yup couple new weapons here the enhancer which is actually a really good sword for Celis and Terra, which we don't have Terra. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab two enhancers because it makes our magic power go up. So that's just going to make Celis super badass whenever I use her. I'm a double enhancer and it's going to be awesome. As for armor, we got all sorts of new stuff. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves a couple diamond shields. Um, at least one diamond helm. Guy gear, we have plenty of. Power sash, we're good. Diamond Vest. That's pretty damn expensive, isn't it? Um, let's just buy one, because that's all we can afford. We're going to have to get some more money so we can buy some more stuff soon. But for now, that'll do. That'll do. That'll do. Oh, and this guy must be the Relic Shop. Okay. And he doesn't have anything that we don't already have. Pretty much. And nothing that we want, for that matter. If you, do, if you happen to want more Cure Rings, which I don't know why you would, but if you do... That's your place right there, because that bitch sells them for real cheap compared to buying them at the auction house. Anyway, the real reason we're here is to come to the cafe. What up, dog? Boss wants to sneak into Figaro Castle. He wants to get our booty back from there. Oh, the boss wants to get booty from the Figaro Castle. We'll enter the castle through the cave that only we knows about. Who's we? From out of nowhere, a bunch of huge sandworms burrowed into the prison. Well, the get back service. Okay, so who are these guys? Our last Bosch perished that day. We met up with Gerard in this town. Gerard. Who is Gerard? Anyways, we came in here to talk to all the thieves. And they start heading out. I've been chatting with the boss of this gang, Gerard. He's kind of handsome. Oh, is he? Okay, so anyways, only one thief actually left. But they all really... Yeah, see, there you go. When you walk out, they all actually start leaving. And I think to keep that going we actually have to go do we have to go back up higher no I think we just have to go toward the docks actually oh no never mind here he is Psh, I walked right by him what up Gerard what's your problem uh you're Edgar aren't you yeah you look a lot like Edgar except for you know your hair's blonde ish his hair I remember his hair being more brown Edgar enough of this nonsense I have things to do well, he certainly talks like Edgar. His name is almost spelled like Edgar. I'll be busy getting ready for our departure to Figaro. Don't play possum with me, Edgar. Or have you lo somehow lost your memory? Huh. He is acting quite strange. Listen, my lady. I've been Gerard all my life. Gerard. Only Edgar would say my lady. 
Yeah, giving yourself away there, Gerard. What's all the blooming fuss about? The words, my lady, are used all the world over. Sure they are. And why is Sabin saying nothing when it's more than likely his brother? Let's head to the ship and see if we can find out more. Oh yeah, you know how to get into Vigro Castle, don't you? Go, oh, do we ever? Yeah, you lead the way since it's buried. Buried. My 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 Edgar freaking accent sucks today. That's all right though. That's all right. It's not that big a deal. Then again, that's not Edgar. That's Gerard. What am I saying? <laughs> So anyway, we stow away on the ship. This is the only way we're gonna you can actually progress the plot. So you could actually have done nothing that I've done in the last two episodes. Except for escape the island with Celis and come straight here to get the ship to cross the ocean. This is literally what you have to do in the story. There's no other options. The whole thing was Sabin and Terra. Didn't have to do either one of those things. Those were optional. Completely optional. You don't have to do those ever if you don't want to. You could just beat the game with never never have been meeting meeting up with uh Meeting up with Terra or meeting up with Sabin, if you want. It's completely up to you, though. That's the one thing that's cool about this ending part of the game. You can make it as difficult as you want. Anyway, so we're back here in South Figaro. And now is the time to pick up all the treasures here that we never picked up before. If you remember, I did not pick up a bunch of treasures. Well, this is where we're gonna... This is where we're gonna pick up all our treasures. Anyways, I'm just trying to check out these thieves. Because th these are the thieves that were with Gerard. Now they're all chilling in the cafe here. Anyways, I don't remember where all the treasures are here, but I'll probably get a lot of them off screen. Um, just know that uh, all the pots that I did not get in this town before. And oh, remember how I got some of the pots on accident? I did reset the game. Like I you know, reloaded my save and redid it so I didn't get those pots. So I'll be getting those item as w items as well. It's not like we're getting any amazing equipment from any of the pots. It's actually just a bunch of like, you know, tents and elixirs and stuff. Like stuff that's just expensive. It's not like amazing items. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and do all that. Uh, do I have anything else I need to do here in this town? Nothing I can think of off the top of my head. I'm just like, I'm trying to grab treasures while I think. I don't think there's anybody I need, I need to talk to right now. Wait, that one gave me a tonic? Huh. Maybe I wasn't supposed to pick up the treasures yet. Huh. Well, whatever. Let's see. What else can we buy here? Uh, nothing particularly amazing at that shop. Just a bunch of items we already have enough of. I actually need to check the armor shop. That's the one I wanted to check. Because pretty much all the towns that didn't get destroyed will still be intact. A lot of them will have new armor. Yep, this one has all the same stuff you could buy back in Nikea, at least for armor. Weapons? Ooh, you can buy new stuff for Gerard. Oh, big surprise, right? And we actually don't have enough money to buy Gold Lance, which sucks because I actually want one. So I'm going to see what I can sell and maybe get one. What can we sell that I don't really need two of? Boomerang? Eh, there's a little bit of money. I'll keep two Hawkeyes, though. Oh, uh, what else do I, don't I need two of? I have Buckler. Three Mithril Shields. I mean, I always like keeping one of everything just for the hell of it. Green Beret, we definitely don't need 13 of those. Let's just sell enough so we can buy our freaking spear. We definitely don't need 13 of those. We don't even have 13 characters. What the hell? Oh, I think I got a bunch of them from fighting uh, whatever you want to call them. Those freaking... I don't know, the guys on the belt, when I steal from them, I always get Green Berets. So I got a whole bunch of Green Berets from those guys. Anyways, I think we bought everything we wanted to buy here. So let's head out, shall we? I think we just have to head out, right? Anyways, if you look at the map, we're actually over in like South Figaro type area. And probably going to fight new enemies. I was about to skip the battle, but then I remembered we're probably going to fight new ones. And we are. Let's try some fire too on these fools. I'm not sure what the enemies around here are weak to. Either way, we got two new enemies here, the Maliga and the No Rabbit. No Rabbit, huh? I... I definitely see a rabbit on there, so you can't lie to me. It's not a no rabbit. It's a yes rabbit. It's yes, because yes is definitely a rabbit. Anywho. Let's kill off this Maliga and get him off of our screen. Go away, Maliga. We do not like you. Go away. Go away. Alright, so 
I assume we're doing this right, because I don't think we're supposed to do anything in that town. We're just supposed to head over here. And find ourselves a Lata Maria, which is basically the exact same sprite as the Angua form. Not even different at all. It looks identical. Seriously, it looks exactly like the Angua form that we fought on the Serpent Trench before. That's kind of disappointing that they didn't make that a little more unique. Oh, I need to equip my new stuff that I bought. The diamond stuff that I bought? I didn't equip any of that yet, did I? Huh. Gotta do that. Do that in a moment. In fact, we'll do that right after this battle. Once this battle's over. Oh, no. I think Saban has Gaia gear, so he'll be safe from that. I don't know how many enemies actually do Magnitude 8, but clearly I can live through it now, unlike before when it kicked my ass. Tell us Lorn Bio. Yay, it would have been nice to know earlier when I fought Fun Baba. Anyway, let's do my equipment real quick. Oh, snap. Yeah, I like that. Uh, looks like Diamond Vest is not better than Gaia Gear. We'll stick to the Gaia Gear then. Anyways, this is the South Figaro Cave. Remember this cave? Well, we've been here before. Let's head in, shall we? And it's got new enemies. Wow, big surprise, right? Big friggin' surprise. The most changingest cave in the whole game. Seriously, this cave cannot... It can't stay the same. It always must change. It can't decide how, what it wants to be. Now, I'm not sure what I, if what I said about the South Figaro town treasures are true. Like I said, go pick those up now because they're better now. Which I think in some cases they were. But, ooh, Sabian learned a new blitz. That's cool. But in this cave, for 100% sure. Get the treasures now. Worth it. 100% worth it. Way better than they were before. Definitely worth it. Ooh, it's Dante. That looks nothing like Dante. You deceiving ass name. Dante from uh, Devil May Cry? No, not even close. Like I would know anything about Devil May Cry. I haven't even played a Devil May Cry game in my life. I feel like I should not be here yet because there's. I could have sworn there's a cutscene when you walk into this cave. In fact, I'm pretty sure there is. You know what I'm probably going to do? Is just grab the treasures here and then we'll come back. It actually sounds like a good idea. So let's grab the treasures. If I do happen to come across what I came here to do, I'll show it. But for now, I'm just trying to see if I can find all the treasures. If I can recall where they're even at. I know there's that one down there. What's up here? Uh, okay, there's another treasure in here, I'm pretty sure. And hopefully this is the one I think it is. Because there's only one treasure in here I really want. And that's it, the hero ring. That's the one you wanted to wait for. The reason you waited all this time to pick up all the treasures was that hero ring right there. Dead serious. Anyway, I'm going to head back now because I think I think that last treasure over there is, can only be gotten from this side. In fact, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, you got to go up and around. And once we get this treasure over here, I think I'll test out my new warp spell that I just learned from Fenrir. Because I think it can get us right out of this dungeon real quick. be the first time I've tried it in this game probably ever. Yep, escapes from dungeons. Cool. So this will get, get, get us right back outside so we can go back to Figaro. And find Gerard, because I think I think we have to do have to... I'm thinking we have to talk to Gerard after all before we can do anything. So let's find Gerard in this town. He wasn't in the... He wasn't in the cafe. What about you, old man? What are you doing? The boss of these thieves is on the second floor. Oh, well, thank you for letting me know, because I didn't know where he was. Second floor, meaning he's probably in the inn. Why didn't I go in the inn earlier? Is he in the inn? Ah, here he is. Gerard, what the fuck are you doing? Let's go help him. Hang on a sec. Are you people still here? Be polite now, Edgar. Yeah, she knows it's Edgar. Punk ass. Boss, everything's ready. Let's go. Case of mistaken identity, my dear. Give it up. Anyways. Alright, so now that I talked to Gerard, now we can go to the cave of Figaro, as it is known as. Even though it still doesn't have a title when you walk in. But... Because I already went there and got all the treasures, that took up some time. And next time, I think we'll just save the uh, re... The re-whatever you want to call it for next time. <laughs> the re-exploration of that place for next time. So I'll see you guys then. And yeah. Peace. That was probably the best outro ever. They fought the